Building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, I'm being held against my will. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. You just checked in to a game of murder. Only one of you will survive. Also, someone took a number two in the pool, and I am not happy about having to clean that up. All right, first question. Cho Chang belongs to which Hogwarts house? Use your device to answer the question. Almost out of time! And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. Come with me! Welcome to room 113. The hairdryer's broken, sorry. Pegs! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm, someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Hey you, pick the landing slots that kill. Hurry along! If someone dies in your death zone, you get a prize! Ugh, really? Fine. I'll murder up a few of my own. Okay! Let the games begin! Pick a spot to drop from. It's fun! Ooh, I just love watching this one! Oh, good! The death zones work! <laughs> Don't worry! The end of your life isn't the end of your participation. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. Who fought Muhammad Ali in the Thriller in Manila? <laughs> Time's almost up. Oh. Who picked this? The rest of you, it's time. 
Salutations! Welcome back to the killing room. Donation time. You all get $500. Give some of that money to another player. The person who ends up with the most money will die. But if you give to someone and they have $1,000 or more, I will kill you instead. Begin. Hurry up! Let's see where all the money went. If you're overfunded, you're safe. But an overambitious investor, on the other hand... Let's try another one. Which of these culturally significant films was first recommended for preservation by the National Film Registry? Time's running out. Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, follow me. Now we learn obedience. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. The player who follows the fewest rules correctly dies. Go! I'm gonna shut my eyes for a little bit. Take a little micro nap. Almost out of rules time. Bye. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! What heartless monster killed Beth in her novel, Little Women? Time's almost up! picked this. I want to show you something. We're going to play Chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Pick a chalice already! Some of you didn't use your poison pellet, so I'll have to add a few of my own. Too good to poison your friends? Well, I'm sorry, your majesty. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. <laughs> Most people are poison intolerant, so try not to drink the poison. Ah, ah that's the good stuff. Now let's see what everyone drank. It's refreshing and toxic.
Let's keep moving. Look, everything is fine at the hotel, and I don't want any follow-up questions about why I know this, but... According to WebMD, approximately how big are bedbugs? Almost out of time. Uh, Who picked this? Time for consequences. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. And I do mean anyone. Answer time is coming to an end. Now, let's see if there are any matches. If you get your mind red, you get your mind dead. Whoa, you all died too easy. But I still need someone alive, so... See, having the most money is good for something. The time has come. You've made it so far, but can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Human body systems. Tap each answer that fits the category, and then press and let's see the right answers. You advance one space for every correct answer. You're on your way to escaping! Plot twist! All the ghosts get to play too. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Here come the ghosts! World of Warcraft playable classes. Ugh, I gotta get some harder questions. Founding members of NATO. Yikes, there's a ghost right behind you. Don't fall behind. It's only darkness. Actors who play Dracula! Time is almost up! A ghost stole your life force! People who have walked on the moon! Another life force swap! Bottom row of the QWERTY keyboard. Hello, darkness. 
parts of an animal cell. Time is almost up. Not what I had in mind. Metamorphic rocks. Another life swap. Where do you think you're going? If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Here comes the next question. WNBA teams. Time is almost up. You have to get all the right answers to escape.
Wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Your free spa weekend was a lie, luring you into this deadly trivia game. Only one of you will survive. The rest of you will die. Is that clear? I'm trying to be a better communicator. Okay, first question. Where would you find the haunted mansion in the original Disneyland? Use your device to answer the question. I'm talking to you too, audience. Time's almost up. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you... Follow me. Welcome to room 101. Yay! I love using Cousin Aloysius's magic props. Pick a space in this box to hide yourself. When this was used in magic shows, there were safeguards inside to prevent injury. But don't worry, I took those out. It's time for the volunteers. I'm giving you a very sharp sword. On your device, choose a row or a column to run your sword through. I wonder... Sword noise! Magic, you disappointed me again. Who will win? Who will die? Maybe the audience. Hey audience, I hope you all die too. If you're not ready now, you can join the audience, whatever. It's like super low crush. Let's try another one. How many US states border the Pacific Ocean? Welcome back to the killing room. Let's play with dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. It's like blackjack, but with dice and skulls. Look, it, it made sense when I first put it together, okay? Time's almost up! You busted! One of the most common dangers of dice is blowing up. You're back! You're a ghost now! Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game! Let's keep moving! 
Which of these writers was a man? Almost out of time! Oh. Who picked... this? The rest of you, I want to show you something. Ah, the lost art of letter writing. I'm going to dictate a message to you. Write down as much of what I say as you can. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. And the letter begins... Now! Dear mystery figure, Cease hovering in my periphery. Receive back into the inky darkness. I command you. I demand you. Oh god no. Please, no. This is the end. Just kidding. Have a good weekend. Time's up! Okay, now I'm just gonna do a quick editorial review of your work. And here's how you did! Yikes! One of you did real bad! We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! In the Jules Verne novel, Journey to the Center of the Earth, how did the protagonist attempt to reach the center of the Earth? Will stop. Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, come with me. I'm giving you all scratch tickets. What a quirky last minute gift. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Start scratching! Come on! You could scratch more! The contest is almost over. I guess I was hoping you'd be a little bit more scratch happy. Oh well. If you have a losing ticket, come with me. Let's try another one. My alleged cousin Aloysius left a bunch of old crap in a steamer trunk the last time he was here. Which one of these pieces of old crap can my guests use to make coffee? <laughs> Almost out of time! Who picked this? It's time. You have 45 seconds to escape this room or you die. This is pretty stressful, right? All you need to do is pause and take a deep breath. And when you resume, I know you'll have it all figured out.
Uh-oh, is the answer coming to you yet? You are so gonna be like, duh, when you figure it out. Aw, was that too abstract for you? Let's be more concrete. After I ran away from home to pursue my dream of being a game show host, I promised myself I'd never come back. But here I am. You know what? This will make a great chapter in my eventual memoir. Let me write it down. Let's keep moving. Which language uses a Cyrillic alphabet? Try to save yourself with a password. Enter a real four-letter word with your device. Make it hard to guess. If your password gets cracked, you die. Now everyone else will try to crack the password. As a team, guess the password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. If anyone figures out the password before time runs out, I will reward you all. This is a team effort, so share clues out loud with each other. Stop! I thought everyone was good at hacking passwords these days, but I guess I was wrong. Let's try another one. So, I really want to fight God, but I don't want to have to eat carbs in the process, you know what I mean? Which of these religious foods is traditionally gluten-free? <laughs> Almost out of time! <laughs> I'll show you something. More dice? Don't mind if I do. Don't worry, this one's real straightforward. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. Oh, good job making it way too fair. Oh, brother. Roll em. The player with the highest total. Hey, that's dice for ya. <laughs> hey audience, you're blowing it. Try to be smarter, okay? This is tough to watch! I 
I wrote this next question just for you. If you get it right, I will punish everyone else. What was the first television remote control called? And the correct answer is... Did you get the question right? Oh, tough break. Time for consequences. Math! It's back, baby! Do as much math as you can before time runs out. Everyone else will be playing along. If one of them does better than you, it's punishment time. Let's go! So Americans say math, but the British say maths. That's weird, right? Hurry up and finish your math! Wow, this ended with you to the power of dead. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive, but will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Poems that rhyme. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Ah, but it's not just you. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Next question. Movies with the werewolf. Taco Bell menu items. Don't look behind you! Are you afraid of the dark? Apple computers! Time is almost up! You cannot run that ghost forever! Marie Kondo's rules of tidy. A lot of lucky guesses. Mmm, you stole some yummy life force. Words in the preamble of the U.S. Constitution. More stolen life force! Operas. Time is almost up. The 
darkness approaches. Olsen Twins movies. This one's a nail biter. You are but shadows now. Uh uh uh, not so fast. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Moving on. Overwatch characters. Time is almost up. Darkened our way late at night. I can't keep driving, it don't feel right. I take the exit, just looking for a place to stay. There's only moonlight, the sky is black. I'm really lost, but I can't turn back. What's that ahead? A hotel with. Check out, there's no one near to hear me shout. Trivia, man, I'm falling, and I'm filled with dread. If I can't answer these questions, I'm gonna wake up dead. Trivia.
The local residents familiar with the abandoned building's history know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family. <laughs> This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. This isn't an ice cream lover's convention after all, but a game of dire consequences. Only one of you will survive. And I hope that one survivor will keep us in mind for their future vacation needs. All right, first question. Which video game begins with the phrase, war? War never changes. Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, it's time. Welcome to the killing room. It's time for some pegging! Okay, now that I've said that out loud, it does sound weird. You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. You know what? We need some death zones! Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Okay! Let the games begin! Pick a spot to drop from. I'm sure everything will work out for you. This was a lot harder to build than you guess. Ayo! You know what this means! Surprise! Remember, dead players are still players, just more see-through. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's keep moving. In Ghostbusters, Rick Moranis is which of the following? Time's almost up! Uh. Who picked... this? Which leaves only you. I want to show you something. Welcome to Room 237! Hopefully you can defend yourself from ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Write your answers now. Now, let's see if there are any matches. We've got Mind Meld! Let's try another one. Which herb do you burn to rid your house of bad energy in a practice called smudging? Time joining now. Who picked this? One of you is still alive. Come with me. 
it's my old friend, the Loser Wheel! Spin it! It's fun! Ooh. Spin, you magnificent wheel! Predictable, but still satisfying. The final round isn't ready yet. You're not all supposed to die before that. That's strange. I could have sworn you messed up big time and died before getting to the final round, but I guess I imagined the whole thing? I'll play closer attention from now on. It's time for the next question. Which of these movies stars somebody in prison for a crime they did not commit? Who picked this? Only a ghost got it wrong. Ah, oh, crap. Let's keep moving. Violin strings are sometimes made of catgut, which apparently isn't made from real catguts at all, but is instead made from what? Almost who picked this? Follow me. I hope you're good with instructions. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If any of them correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. And it's already begun. The rules are on your device now. Sometimes I worry that I say the word rules too much during this game. Rules, rules, rules. Yeah, maybe I'm overthinking it. Rule time is coming to an end. There's always someone out there better at following rules. You really squandered that second chance. You won't get a third.
can't keep driving, it don't feel right. I take the exit, just looking for a place to stay. There's only moonlight, the sky is black. I'm really lost, but I can't turn back. What's that ahead? A hotel with a vacancy. Check in, will I check out? There's no one near to hear me shout. Trivia, man, a party, and I'm filled with dread. If I can't answer these questions, I'm gonna wake up dead. Trivia.
Welcome to Fibbage, my name's Cookie. Let's see what your names are. Seven players. Couldn't get eight, huh? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can play along for your own personal score and vote for your favorite lies. Let's do this. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. In 2001, the band KISS put an officially licensed blank up for sale, complete with flame decals and likenesses of the band stuck all over it. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you get stuck, for half the points, you can use the Lie For Me button and get a suggestion. Do it now! Something. Okay, now find the truth and select it on your device. Who picked what? And nobody picked any of these other lies. Category. No, 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 that's okay, I've got it. Diagnosis high. Nomophobia is the fear of being out of blank. Input your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Okay, what did everyone pick? Ah! 
A phobia that makes certain spots in my apartment terrifying. And the rest of these lies didn't fool a soul. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A teaching manual that was distributed to North Korean school teachers in 2015 claims that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un remarkably learned how to blank by the age of three. Type in your lies now. Hit the like for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. And we're done. <laughs> now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Use it in round two or lose it. Select a category. Well, we ain't waiting forever. Okay, here's the question. A group of scientists from the University of Illinois, the University of Pennsylvania, the University of Florida, Fairfield University, and Harvard wrote a scientific paper about the reactions cats have when looking at photos of blank. Write your lies now. Where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look.
And now we're one step closer to curing cancer. And that's it. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. For the reasonable price of three head of cattle and free room and board, King Tut hired a specialized assistant whose main job, weirdly enough, was to blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> and the rest of the board goes unselected. category. Okay, here's the question. Italian artist Cristina Guggeri created a provocative series of digital art pieces depicting various world and religious leaders. In each art piece, the leaders were blank. Write your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. And it was also... Hmm, kind of spooky. It's not my favorite art series, but it's definitely my number two. And that means... You 
you have arrived at the final fibbage. Everything rides on this one. Final question, and it's worth triple. Anybody can win it. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. What Maria Angelis Duran of Spain was trying to sell pieces of on eBay before they stopped her. Input your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. And nobody picked the other lies up there. Hey!
Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and the sooner we get this started, the sooner I can get back to checking myself for ticks. All right, I can work with seven. I did it when I played Snow White in that community theater show. I can do it now. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience people can play along for their own personal scores and can like their favorite lie each question. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a helper, the defibrillator. It eliminates all but one lie. Only one use per game, so use it wisely. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. When boating in Katuit Bay near Cape Cod, make sure to look out for Captain Tim Titcomb, who drives a boat that sells blank to fellow boaters. Type in your lies now. if you can't think of anything. Hey. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. Okay, what did everyone pick? It's weird, though, the music he plays on his ice cream boat to attract customers is the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In 2011, Masahiko Yamaguchi, amazingly enough, created a robot that can blank all by itself. Write your lies now. Hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Who picked to watch?
and nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A new security system installed by fast food chain Subway hopes to thwart theft by a mechanism that sprays robbers with blank. Input your lies now. if you can't think of anything. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. And it was also... That was weird. Cops can identify the robber by running a black light over them. Currently, every hotel bedspread in the country is a suspect in the theft of a six-inch black forest ham on honey oat. And these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And don't forget to use that defibrillator if you haven't already. It's gone after round two. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. In issue number 48 of Batman Shadow of the Bat, Batman fights an unusual comic book enemy, blank. Enter your lies now. Hit the live for me, buddy. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected.
Because if there's one person you want to protect you from a virus that's carried by bats, it's Batman. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. If you were to fly over the headquarters of mobile internet company NetDragon Websoft in China, you might notice something unusual about the shape. It's built to look just like blank. Write your lies now. the truth. Okay, let's take a look. And it was also Jinx And nobody picked any of these other lies. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A prank that went unnoticed for a month, a man photoshopped himself into several Grammy Museum photos, including a pic with Rihanna where he's posing with a blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, find the truth. Okay, what did everyone pick? Okay, that was a whopper. And you all missed it. And these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected. It's time for the final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. 
take a look at your final fibbage question. According to the 1993 official Nintendo character guide, the actual name of Super Mario's dinosaur pal Yoshi. Input your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. That's it. Nobody else's lives got picked.
We've used these two tiny surveillance microphones hundreds of times. So you swallow this one. See you later. Okay. And what about the other one? That one's a suppository. Or wait, is this the one you swallow and the other? Um, maybe I you should that. go see our doctor. Foolish humans. Interesting. Data collection? No, we don't have Prince Albert Nikita. Tom, I know it's you. Hey, you guys going to lunch soon? Yeah. You know, we should invite the new guy. We should. I can't remember his name, though. I can't either. I haven't met him yet. I think it was Chris. No. Something like Chris. Craig, Kyle, Crinkle. Kevin, Comfy, Quicksilver, Condoleezza, Con uh, uh, Quail Egg. Yeah. Go say, hey, Quail Egg, want to go to lunch? Corky? Condiment? Christmas. How about just walking over and saying, hey, I'm Warren. I'm sorry, but I can't remember your name. Can you say Christmas, but sort of mutter it so he thinks you said his name? Sure. And if it's wrong, I'll just tell him Brian said that was his name. Right. Hey, Chris Timonen, and I hate you guys. To the owner of the invisible car in parking lot C, you have been rear-ended. Hey Warren, can you do me a huge favor? I'm not calling the State Department for you. Come on, I don't have an ex-girlfriend who works there. Why? I need an autographed headshot of Colin Powell circa 2002. It's for my niece. I already got her a Madeleine Albright. What is she, a collector? She's 15. It's a phase. It's her birthday. Fine, but you owe me three Pentagon favors, understood? I don't know anyone at the Pentagon. Make it happen. What's with the new vending machines? There's like 18 buttons to press for a soda. Oh, right. The soda's encrypted now. What? Come on! I'm just saying that why don't we point all our satellites at the Pacific Northwest and we'll settle this once and for all. You want to use all of our satellite resources on finding Bigfoot? Yeah. That is the worst idea I've ever heard. We should be looking for Chupacabra. What? They pose a way bigger threat. Don't you care about Bigfoot? Don't you care about goats? High five! Okay, in turn, let me just set up your camera monitoring system. Here we go. <laughs> oh, nice. I'll be doing surveillance for a water park. Awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. These are cameras attached to bidets. You've got bidets for days. <laughs> That's a good one. Anyway, have fun with the crapper cams. <laughs> Hey, 
did we ever get those results about whether cult members like chunky or smooth peanut butter? No, all of our field agents keep getting discovered and converted. Ugh, I'm just gonna say chunky then. To all agents, when you return a jetpack, please make sure it's refueled. Thank you. Hey, Dimitri, you watch The Americans? Um, yes, every day. That show is nuts. All the makeup and wigs and their whole wardrobe is crazy, right? I don't know. I look at metadata. I don't know from wigs and makeup. No, Dimitri, I, I know you watch Americans. I'm talking about the Americans on TV. But there is always Americans on TV. Do all of them wear wigs now? No, I, it's a TV show. It's not average Americans walking down the street. Yes, this would be stupid. We see this already on the closed circuit security camera. Do you even own a television? Ooh. No, not since end of Seinfeld. Three, Okey two, dokey. one. Good talking to you. All of the surveillance we do here at the government gets collected in this computer. And when I say all of it, I mean all of it. Even that total disaster when you tried to cut open a mango. Usually we upload it straight to government YouTube. But today we're going to use it to play... Gespionage! Let's go! Okay, who's first? Foolish humans. All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. What percentage of people, at least occasionally, yell at their TVs? Think carefully. You want to be as close as possible to the actual percentage to get the most points. We have an answer. 75%. Okay, everyone else, time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. You can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Interesting. Believe it. Ooh. Hurry up. Right down the middle. And the correct answer is... 85%. And I'll bet some of you want to do that right now. Who said higher? Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? I hear you. Typey, typey. What percentage of people own hardware tools they don't know how to use? Forty-five percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 43%. 2% off. That'll get you some serious points. Wow, everyone was wrong. Next up. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people are currently not speaking to friends or relatives they usually speak to but are mad at? Fifty-five percent. Okay, higher or lower? 
full of shrooms. Interesting. Ooh. Believe it. Time's running out, higher or lower. People are saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 31%. I'm sorry, did Jerry say something? I was too busy ignoring him. Who got it right? Nice job. I've got some points for you. As for you, well done. Double points for saying much lower. Who's next? We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people have intentionally slammed into someone they didn't know in a bumper car? Time's a wasting. Seventy percent. Okay, higher or lower? Full of shorts. What do you think? <laughs> Only one of you thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 71%! Only 1% off! That's how you guess Bionage. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. Next up. Interesting. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know. What percentage of people when picking up takeout food inspect the contents of the bag before they leave the restaurant? Forty-one percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Ooh. Oh. Full of shorts. Running out of time. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> Most of you are saying higher. Okay, right answer is sixty percent. Yeah, okay, that'll get you some points. Who got it right? Well done, you get points. Okay, who's up next? All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? What percentage of people have mistaken mannequins for real people? Sixty-three percent. Everyone pick higher or lower. For the short. Ooh. Interesting. Easy. Most people said lower, and Surveil says... 56%! Wow, you were pretty close. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! And what have we here? Ah, that's too bad. Double downs only count if the answer is off by 15% or more. Next up... Oh, this is going to be good. What percentage of people own t-shirts that are at least 10 years old? 61%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Full of shorts. Ooh. I hear you. 
running out of time. Most of you are saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 84%! It really takes a decade for those things to break in. Who got it right? Nice job, I've got some points for you. Who's next? Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. When a mariachi band suddenly appears, what percentage of people are more annoyed than anything else? All right, what do you think? Believe it. Interesting. I hear you. Everyone hear thinks you. it's higher, and the correct answer is 40%. Little secret about mariachi bands most of them are government spies, so tip well. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. Uh-oh, final round time. By mining social media, we found the most popular answers to this question. Which Game of Thrones character do people love most? Let's take a look at the board. But only the top three answers will get you points. Ready, go! Don't forget to use all three of your picks. Let's see what answers you chose. Now let's take a look at the results. Who's gonna get the gold star? Who is it, boy? Who is it? It's... You got a foolish choice. You leave it. I hear you. Ooh. Congratulations, you seem to know everyone's secrets. Remind me never to cross you. I don't see why they can't get something in my size. It's ridiculous. If they're going to ask you to gather farm data in a giant rubber horse suit, they could at least get you an extra large. I just look so stupid right now. <laughs> I 
I heard we have a new French agent starting today. Oh, hey, I think that may be him. Hi there. Are you the new French agent? Oui, moi, je viens juste d'arriver. Je vais aller chercher les euh, ressources humaines. Mais avant, il faut que je trouve un, un bon café. Breathe it in. Oui, 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 oui. Quand est-ce qu'on part pour le déjeuner J'ai que deux heures, alors il faut que j'en profite. Et la pizza, c'est bien, mais ils sont où les couteaux et les fourchettes Oh, les donc, qu'est-ce qu'il fait froid dans ce bureau Comment ils font pour garder C'est un frigo Uh, yeah, I did not catch any of that. Did he say he was French or not? How did you pass the entrance exam? Oh, I didn't take it. My dad's the director. That mm -hmm. checks out. Ooh. Foolish humans. A reminder to all agents, please do not moon the surveillance satellites. It upsets Agent Waller. What does that mean? That's the alarm that goes off when the world's man bun population has eclipsed 15%. What do we do? We head to the basement and we wait it out. Okay, everybody, file out in an orderly manner. Remain calm. Data collection, Agent Warren. No, we're data collection. You need the main office in Washington. Hey, Brian, did you get those requisition forms I put on your desk? Yeah, everything should be processed in a day or so. I'll let the agents know. And you saw that request from Agent Harris? I'm sorry, who? Agent Harris, you know, works in the Caribbean sector, wears a... The, the dolphin. You're talking about a dolphin. Yeah. How does a dolphin fill out requisition Secrets. forms? They're probably transcribed. Dolphins can't talk. They're fish. Dolphins aren't fish. You get my point. That dolphins are fish? They're a mammal. I was being metaphorical. That's not a metaphor. Who are you, Mr. Dictionary? Hey, Lord, come here. Brian thinks dolphins are fish. No, they're mammals. I know that. Then why did you say it? He thinks it's a metaphor. What? You two think it's a bigger deal that I said dolphins are fish than the fact that a dolphin is a field agent sending in requisition forms. Yeah. He can't send in forms. He can't talk. He's not a real agent. Harris is a she. I'm transferring to ATF. Hey, for the game later, can you pick up some finger food? Like chips and dip? Just take it out of petty cash. I already did, but there was only enough for one, so I got dip. You got dip without chips. What do we put in a dip? You said finger food. Fingers? Yep, I guess that's about our best option at this point. Reminder to all agents, the company picnic is this Friday. The time and location details are encrypted into algorithms piggybacking on spam emails from a server promoting hair loss therapy. We still need sporks. That makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. All soda is called Coke, until you need to be specific. So you tell a waitress, give me a Coke. And I'll get a Coke. But if I'm saying I'm going to go get a Coke... You might get a Mountain Dew. Exactly. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. my keyboard and desk chair covered in bird droppings. Anyone? Oh yeah, Agent Squawkington was in today for a debrief. Good for him. Doesn't explain why he took a dump on my station. Don't worry about it, man. Well, it Trust me, don't make a scene. Easy for you to say. You don't have to sit in falcon nest. <coughs> but I don't mind sitting in this Three, falcon two, nest. Three, two, one. See? 
Welcome back. Let me just delete this video of Taylor Swift on the moon from the internet and we can start another game of... Espionage! Who's up first? Foolish humans. Okay, computer, what do you have for this one? What percentage of people had their mouths washed out with soap as children? Seven percent. Everyone else, now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? If you think the guess is off by 15% or more, you can get double points by picking much higher or much lower. Please leave it. Whee! I hear you. Mm -hmm. Everyone says higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 33%! I've got big points for that guess. Yikes! No one guessed correctly. Oof. Next up. Uh, I don't know. How about... What percentage of people can juggle three balls with two hands for at least 10 seconds? Forty percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Foolish humans. Hurry up. <laughs> it's unanimous again. Okay, let's see the right answer. Fifteen percent. And the more they juggle, the lonelier they are. Who got it right? Smart, yes. Here's your points. Okay, who's up next? Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people have functioning VCRs in their homes? Twenty-one percent. Everyone pick higher or lower. Surveil says... 42%! These are the same people who use AOL dial-up. We don't even count them in the census anymore. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Who's next? All right, I have a good one. What percentage of people have apps on their phones for fast food chains? Sixty-seven percent. Okay, higher or lower? I hear you. Please leave it. Foolish humans. Time's running out, higher or lower. Most of you are saying higher. Okay, right answer is... 42%. Nothing says connected like a Little Caesars phone app. Who 
who got it right. Well done. You get points. Next up. I hear you. I'm going to search for... What percentage of callers prefer total silence to music when on hold with customer service? Seventy-five percent. Okay, higher or lower? or lower. <laughs> People are thinking it's lower. Now let's get to the right answer. 21%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Let's see who got it right. Nice job! I've got some points for you. Who's next? Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? What percentage of people have sustained injuries from fireworks accidents? 70%. What do y'all think, higher or lower? One of you thinks it's higher, and Surveil says... 14%! Let's see if this blew up in anyone's face. Who got it right? Here's some points! Okay, who's up next? Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. What percentage of people have performed the whip and or nene dance routine? 54%. Any time now. 54%. Everyone else, higher or lower? I hear you. Running out of time. People are saying higher, and the correct answer is... 20%! And I'm sure every single one of them nailed it. Let's see who got it right. Points for you! It's time for the final round. We faked dozens of focus groups to determine the most popular answers to this question. After red, what's the next best color for a fast car? Now let's see the answers. You'll need to pick the three most popular answers to get points. Good luck! Remember, you can... All right, let's see what everyone picked. And what are the most popular answers? Who's that special someone? 
tax for the next three years. You think this coffee tastes weird? Oh, that's the nanites. They're little silicon robots that detonate should you turn out to be a double agent or go rogue. Just a simple behavior inhibitor. Oh, my God. Are they approved for paleo? I don't know. Sure is. Tomorrow will be even hotter, they say. What? Hotter than today? I don't buy that. Apparently. Wow, geez, that's, that's going to be uh, really hot. Yeah. Well, personally, I prefer the cold over the heat any day. Me too. See, I just don't like hot weather. I just don't know what it is. I'm with you. See, I'd much rather be like a little bit chilly than sweating all the time. My thoughts exactly. Wow. It's moments like these I don't get why only 4% of people enjoy office small talk. I completely agree. Hello? Hey Dave, it's Brian. I'm at home sick today. Could you log on to my terminal real quick? Sure thing. What's your password? Brian. Your name is your password? Well, yeah, but it's spelled B-R-I-O-N. Are you serious? That can be hacked in 11 nanoseconds. Uppercase N. <laughs> 